All right, the big news coming out of Raw is that, in fact, as we talked about a week ago, the final man on the men's War Games match is Randy Orton. And they mm-hmm. made the announcement at the end of the show. He did not show up live. You've got to uh, pay to see him at Survivor Series. But he is the last man on the Babyface team. And so uh, it is five on five for the men. And looking like four on four is how it's going to end up for the women. Yeah, it's funny. I think he's going to end up four on four. But in the commercial, they say five on five. <laughs> Do they? How about well, that? not the commercial where they announced. Not the commercial where they announced the card. The commercial where they announced the card. It's four and four. But they had a war games commer- You know, war games video where they were explaining war games, and they said, "Yeah, war games is five on five. Well, so I know on uh, SmackDown. I mean, they made it very clear. Like, you got to have your whole team by the end of the night, and that was four yeah, people. The same thing tonight too. Yes, they said you got to. You got to. But but they didn't make the guy show up. Yes, on SmackDown. You know, she had to show up. On this one, it was just you just had to you just had to give us the name by the end of the show. So Drew McIntyre opened up the show, and he cut a great promo. And the story, of course, is has been going on for months now. Is that he fully believes that he is in the right, and he says that uh, people are asking me why, and he says, you know, Jay, you attacked me from behind time after time. I looked you right in the eye before I dropped your ass. I'm sure you're looking for a sorry, but I don't remember one apology to me or to anybody else back there that you've screwed over. And he said, we should. Uh, why should we get over anything you cost me? The biggest thing ever at Clash of the Castle. My family. I sacrificed everything for years. I missed birthdays, holidays. That was supposed to be my night. And your family took everything from my family. Somebody's asking if I joined the Judgment Day. Well, no, I have not. But I am on their team at War Games because Rhea gave me something nobody else could give me, and that is you in a cage. And so Jay comes out on the ramp, and he asks the fans if they want to see him beat down Drew, and of course they say yes. So as he's going to the ring, out come Judgment Day, and they back up Drew, and then Sammy, Seth, and Cody come down, and this giant brawl breaks out. And Adam Pierce sends out everybody to break it up. And he announces this is not happening here tonight. He says, we have an advantage match. If anybody interferes, whoever throws the first punch loses the advantage. And he says, Drew is the fifth man on Team Judgment Day. I need the baby faces to have a fifth man by the end of tonight. And by 9 o'clock, I got to know which member of each team is going to be fighting in this advantage match. And so... Uh, so he wants, like, real organization. Yeah, he does. That doesn't happen much. Drew McIntyre, Jey Uso for the advantage. And uh, they had this moment where Cole and Wade are arguing about Jay apologizing to Drew. And Cole says, Drew said he never got an apology, but Jay did apologize to Sammy a few weeks ago. And Wade goes, Sammy is not Drew. He says, find me one time that Jay ever went up to Drew and told him he was sorry. And Cole says, revisionist history. And Wade's like, what the hell are you talking about? That's just a fact. He's never apologized to the guy. No, so anyway, they do the match. And uh, as noted, Drew goes for the Claymore. Jay hits a jumping super kick, gets a close near fall, goes up to the top rope. Drew grabs him, hits the future shock DDT, and pins him. I was like, what? That's the finish? Pin him clean in the oh. middle. Clean well, I'm middle. not going to complain about a finish clean in the middle. I'm not either, but I was just stunned that that's no, how the match too. ended. I was too. I was too. I mean, it's like, it's weird because it's like the the heel won as a baby face. Yeah. I mean, he just won clean. Yep. Beat him clean and, in the middle and, of the ring. And, you know, the thing I noticed with Jay, it's like Sami Zayn. It's like Jay, Jay's very, very over. He came out, got a giant reaction and everything. But they, you know... They do not treat him like like a giant baby face star. I mean, he gets beat um, in you know with the, by the key guys with, with Drew. You know they don't beat Drew very often. So um, you know, and again, in their mind, it's like it's like Drew would never beat Cody Rhodes this way, and he would never beat Seth Rollins this way. No. You know, I mean, he could beat Sami Zayn this way. So Drew throws him outside afterwards. They're tearing apart the announce table. Jay fights back, gets a chair. Judgment Day comes and wipes him out. And then Cody, Sammy, and Rollins all hit the ring to make the save. And then Cody cuts his promo. 
Whereas it wasn't wasn't like I guess I guess since the match was over, I guess just yeah, I guess match that, is that over. things out the window. Yeah. What? Yeah, match was over. Yeah. They just couldn't interfere. No, I know, but I mean, it's like it's like wasn't the deal like uh, if anyone touched anyone? Yeah, during know? the match. Yeah. He didn't want inter- any the, interference before, 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 in the. Uh, or before the match. In the advantage match, yes. But the match was over, and he told them they needed to announce the partner, so they had to come out. And they came down, and Cody did this promo, and he says, glad you guys have the advantage, got a star of the caliber of Drew, because we are not alone. We found a fifth member. And he says, someone I have a legacy with. And this place went nuts when they heard the word legacy. And he announced their partner was the Apex Predator, the fans chanted Randy's name. And then Cody goes, you fans are right. And the show goes off the air. So uh, yeah. he never actually said it was Randy Orton, but uh, it's Randy Orton. So he'll show up on Saturday, and we will have War Games. So the uh, full card for uh, this year's War Games is obviously the men's and women's War Games matches, which apparently... Uh, story is there will be uh, one War Games match opening and one War Games match closing. So I guess we'll yeah. see. Uh, I'm sure the the women will open and the men will close. They're not going to put Randy Orton in the opener. That would seem unlikely. Not for his return. So it's Cody, Seth Rollins, Jey Uso, Sammy, and Randy versus Priest, Balor, Dominic, JD, and Drew. That's men's. Bianca, Charlotte, Shotzi, and Becky versus Bailey, Asuka, Io, and Kyrie is the women's. Carlito versus Santos Escobar is on the show. Rhea Ripley defends the women's title against Zoe Stark. And Gunther defends the Intercontinental title against The Miz. And that's uh, five matches. It's going to be a three-hour, 45-minute pay-per-view. So we'll see if they add anything else on, uh, on dude, Friday. Three hours and 45 minutes? Yeah, it's a Survivor Series, dude. That's how long these, ones, that's how long these go. So mm. be ready for a long Saturday night. Mm, that's okay. Oh, God, that the collision, too. Oh, that is long. Yeah, it's brutal. This collision on Saturday uh, has made everything much more difficult in terms of... Oh, man, that collision. Collision's so. not, like, you know what? And collision on Saturday, not a good idea for my life. <laughs> well, such is not. life. It's, it's really not. Man, it's really not good. No. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never You'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.